hello, and welcome to this episode of the Ready Yet podcast. I do not have a guest to introduce you to today. I am here all by myself, but it's because I have been talking about something lately in the groups that I'm in, in the places where I speak live, and I wanted to really share this with my entire audience. So if you don't know me, Erin Marcus, the way that I describe what I help entrepreneurs do is I help entrepreneurs and small business owners get the emotional and financial freedom they need in order to build a business and a life that they're proud of. So I work at that intersection where what you need to do meets who you need to be in order to do it. And the truth of the matter is the emotional freedom, the who you need to be comes before the financial freedom. And a lot of times we wish it was, we think it's going to be like the other way around, where if I just had the money, then I'd be happy. If I just made the sale, then I would be proud of myself. Then I wouldn't have anxiety. But the truth of the matter is it works the other way around. You have to become the person who is able to do those things in order to do them, in order to make the money. And when I started this work, and and this is out, there's a lot of information out there about limiting beliefs, right? What are your limiting beliefs that are stopping you from doing the things you said you wanted to do? So truthfully, I freaking hate the phrase limiting beliefs. I don't know why. I totally agree with the concept. I understand the concept. I've studied the concept. I do my own work to break through my limiting beliefs, but I've always had an aversion to the phrase. I'm sure somebody could figure out why that is, but it always just stuck with me. I I didn't like it. I didn't come up with a better word for it, but I didn't like it. So I want to combine that fact with another fact. One of my soap opera or soap opera, soap box issues with the coaching industry. One of the things that drives me crazy, you'll hear me rant about this, is there's a lot of people out there who will tell you what you need to do. But knowing what you need to do isn't hard. The list of what to do is not a secret. It's readily available. What do you need to do to grow your business? That's not hard. The lack in the coaching industry more often is in the ability as a coach to help somebody do the, how do they do it? How do they apply it to their unique situation? How do they apply it to themselves? So when I take this idea that I hate the phrase limiting beliefs, just because I don't like the words, and I take the concept that I'm very much Um, committed to helping people know how to do what they need to do. When I combine those things, what that does is it creates a situation where I'm always trying to look at what people need to learn and what I need to help them with in a different way. How can I portray the information in a different way? Because sometimes Sometimes, and I know this in my own experiences, you just need to hear it a little differently for it to finally land and you understand it and can do something differently about it. Sometimes you hear the same thing over and over again and it doesn't make sense. And a different person says it slightly differently and you're like, aha. So I wanna do that for you around limiting beliefs. I want you to look at some of it in a little bit of a different way and maybe have a different aha moment that you can build upon. Now, normally, normally I advise very much against binary thinking. Binary thinking is where you think it's either one extreme or the other. I'll give you a random example. So many times when you're on a health journey, if you don't go to the gym on Monday, you're like, oh, screw it. The whole week's ruined. Well, that's not really true, but that's binary thinking. Well, if I don't go Monday, it's all ruined. If I cheat on my healthy diet on Tuesday, I might as well just blow off the rest of the week. 
And binary thinking is not usually very helpful because it creates situations where we throw the baby out with the bathwater. Doesn't need to be that way. However, sometimes binary thinking can be very helpful. Sometimes you can use, so this is the how, you can use binary thinking as a tool. Go to the extremes to make something that's muddy a little more obvious. So I want to take this concept of binary thinking and using binary thinking as a tool to talk to you about trust. So instead of thinking about limiting beliefs, I want you to think about trust, particularly in two places. Do you trust the universe and do you trust yourself? Do you trust yourself? How do you know? How do you know if you do or do not trust yourself? One of the reasons I've been able to move my business forward as fast as I have is because of the areas where I trust myself. So do you trust yourself to make decisions? Do you trust yourself to make decisions? Indecision is a business killer. When you are stuck because you can't decide what to do, you don't move forward at all. So indecision is a business killer. Indecision is the opposite of the concept that success loves speed, that fortune favors the bold. Indecision is a business killer. And if you don't trust yourself to make decisions, it's very, very hard to move forward. So I do trust myself to make decisions. Does that mean every decision I make is a good decision? Hell no. Absolutely not. No. But it's not about being perfect. It's not about making the perfect decision. It's about making a decision. Moving forward in some way. It's about knowing, and here's a big part of the trust. It's about knowing, trusting that even if I make the wrong decision, that I'll be okay, that my business will be okay. So do you know that about yourself? Do you trust yourself? Binary thinking, yes or no? Because if I trust myself to make decisions, then I can make this decision, whatever decision you have in front of you right now. Use the, take it to the extremes. Binary thinking, do I trust myself to make decision? I'm stuck, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. Okay, stop. Do I trust myself to make decision? Yes or no? Well, if the answer is yes, then make the freaking decision and just take a step forward. Knowing that even if it's not the right decision, some good will come of it because some good always comes of it and that you'll be okay and that your business will be okay. Now, if the answer is no, you don't trust yourself. Well, now you know what you need to work on, right? Now we know where we need to go deep. That answer usually means you should be seeking somebody's assistance who's good at those types of things to help you figure out why don't you trust yourself. So do you trust yourself to make good decisions, use binary thinking to say yes or no? If the answer is yes, just make a decision and go for it. And if the answer is no, seek the insight and the help that would help you move that to yes. Another place of trust This was a big one for me for a while, and I didn't realize until well after it what was going on. Do you trust yourself to come up with ideas? Do you trust yourself to come up with ideas, knowledge, content, something to say? I currently commit to a regular Facebook Live show, speaking gigs, Facebook Lives, workshops, blogs, newsletters, guest articles, podcasts. 
I commit myself, I say yes to all of those opportunities because I trust myself to come up with ideas. I trust myself to come up with ideas. That lets me say yes to the things that move my business forward. I trust myself that I will do a halfway decent job at it. Don't always do a great job, but I trust myself that I'll do a halfway decent job at it. So again, binary thinking. Do I trust myself to come up with good ideas and then do a decent job at delivering on those ideas? If I use binary thinking as a tool and force myself to say yes or no to that question, if the answer is yes, then just say yes to the thing. Just say yes to the thing. And if the answer is no, now we know what we need to work on. That in itself is a gift, right? Knowing where you get stuck is just as much a gift as having the confidence and the trust to move forward because now we know what to focus on. So do you trust yourself to make decisions? Number two, do you trust yourself to come up with ideas? So number three, do you trust yourself to do the work? Do you trust trust yourself to do the work? Are you in integrity with yourself? Or have you not done what you've told yourself you were going to do? Have you not done it enough times where now you're out of integrity with yourself and you just don't even believe yourself that you're gonna do the thing. I'm not talking about never dropping the ball. That happens, right? Emails get buried. I have, I'm sure I have a couple of things right now that I've dropped the ball on because they've got buried in my email. I didn't write them down. They're not where they're supposed to be. We all get busy. I'm not talking about being perfect and never dropping the ball. I'm talking about I know that I'll do the work. Do you know that you'll do what needs to get done? Or will you let yourself off the hook? How many times have you told yourself that you're going to do something, but then you don't do it? You have to rebuild that integrity with yourself. Use the binary thinking tool. Use this binary thinking as a tool. I have to pick yes or no. There's no, you don't get to pick. It depends, right? No picking. It depends. No picking. Maybe. Do you trust yourself to do the work? I'll tell you, interestingly enough, like 99% of the people who talk to me about working with me, not like 99% of people, but 99% of the time, if I have a conversation with somebody about my program, about my coaching, about wanting to work with me because they want to grow their business and they know I can help them, if they say no to me, it's usually because they don't trust themselves to do the work. Because if we've had a conversation and you've said to me, yes, I know you can help me. Yes, I know this. They've seen my business grow. They've seen my clients' businesses grow. So it's not me that they don't trust. So where are you doing that to yourself? Where is your lack of trust that you will do the work? Where is your lack of integrity with yourself stopping you from moving forward with something you know could really make a difference for you. But you're not, sta- you're not saying yes because you don't trust yourself to do the work. The last one I want to talk about with where you trust yourself is interesting. Do you trust yourself that you will be okay? Do you trust that you will be okay? Like, that you as a human are safe, that you will be okay. Because most of the time, especially as entrepreneurs, especially as small business owners, we're doing all sorts of things that kind of scare the bejesus out of ourselves on a regular freaking basis. If you're going to grow your business, you're going to have to do things that scare you half to death pretty much on a regular basis until you get used to just feeling that way and it doesn't freak you out anymore. How do you get through that? Well, you get through that because you can trust yourself that you'll be okay. So take it to the extremes, use binary thinking as a tool, take it to the extremes to answer that question for yourself. 
as an example, I know that if I make such a mess of my business that I have no choice but to declare bankruptcy, I actually know that I'll be okay. Why do I know that? Because I could get a freaking job in an hour if I wanted to. I really could. And I know that. And because I know that I'm employable, that I have skills, that I know other human beings who would hire me or would know other people who would hire me, because I know these things, I can trust that I'll be okay and use that trust to maybe take a bigger risk than I might otherwise be comfortable with. So that's what I use to kind of get past some of my limiting beliefs in how to use. Use binary thinking, take your question of trust to the extreme of an absolute yes or no, and move forward from there. The other half of trust is trust in the universe. Do you trust the universe? You can call it God. You can call it spirit. I tend to say universe. You can say world, whatever you want to use. Um, do you trust the world? Do you trust the universe that it's working for you, not against you? And again, let's use binary thinking as a tool that we can actually apply. I either believe, right? I either believe the universe is working for me or I'm a person who believes the universe is working against me. So how can I use this as a tool? Pick your camp, right? Pick your, pick your side of the line. What decisions would you make? What decisions would you make differently if you believed, if you trusted and put yourself firmly on the side of the universe works for me. What would you do differently? What might you try? And then also in the moment when it's all going to hell, cause those moments happen. That was my, you know, two days, three days ago, two days ago, I had a whole day of things just not working, going to hell. It just like nothing worked. Do I believe that the universe is working for me? What is it trying to tell me? You can use your trust, binary thinking, I'm squarely in the camp that the universe is working for me. Okay, if the universe is working for me, how is this decision, how is what's going on, how is the problem I'm facing, how is it working in my favor? What what this binary trust issue does is it lets you take a step back from the chaos of the moment and ask a better question, a non-overwhelmed question, which is where you can often find solutions. I'll give you kind of a random example that happened for me lately. Um, I have a bunch of investments in my business going on right now. It, things are going awesome, but I have a lot going on. And somehow I miscalculated something and found myself recently a little bit behind the eight ball in paying for all the things that I wanted to be doing to grow my business. And it was in a way that hadn't happened in quite some time. It's been a while since I've had that problem. But I'm like, oh my God, how did I do this? Like I was really upset for a minute, more than a minute, more than a little upset. <laughs> but if I trust that the universe is always working for me. In hindsight, how is that working for me? Well, what ended up happening is I found myself suddenly being on a, somebody's list. I don't even know how I found this person or how they found me. Oh, I think it was a referral actually. To get a little bit more information about a course about money and your relationship with money and how to get out of your own way to make more money, all the stuff that I work on on a pretty regular basis. And I really thought I had a lot of it well on its way to being resolved. And then I found myself struggling 
and a little scrambly in a way I hadn't felt in a long time. And because I put myself in that position, when the referral came to me, hey, check this person out. They have a really interesting take on how to make more money and how you're stopping yourself. I signed up for the course. I signed up for the video thing. If everything was going along hunky-dory, I probably wouldn't have bought it. But because I had that glitch, as unhappy as I am to have had the glitch, it triggered me saying yes to something, a new way of thinking about how to get out of my own way in regards to money. And there's already been in just a few weeks some really great insights And I can already feel things shifting and my thoughts changing around how to get out of my own way and make more money. I would have never done that. I would have never bought that course if things were all hunky-dory. So in retrospect, I trusted the universe is working for me. And it helped me make a decision to get more information that ultimately is going to have a huge positive financial impact on my business and my life. So hopefully that helps you apply, get some insight into how to use binary thinking and the concept of trust, trust in yourself and trust in the universe to get past a few of your limiting beliefs, make some few different decisions that you might not have made otherwise, take a few steps forward that you might not have taken otherwise. I am a big fan of um, just giving it a try, right? Just giving it a try. If you have questions about this, this is exactly the type of thing that I love talking about because it's the type of content, it's the type of situation where one little shift in idea can have a really big impact in your life. So if you have any questions, please reach out to me. Love to talk to you about it. Um, In the meantime, have a great, 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 successful day. And I will see you here next week.